What is going on y'all? Welcome back to the channel. I am super excited to finally have an all white truck with all the work that I've put in to get it to this point. We actually got a package in from Amazon, so let's take a look at it. Now this package doesn't really have anything too special in it, but it is something that I need to uh, finish this bed up. These are some LED switchback reverse lights. So we have some reverse lights for the brand new tail lights. It does have the LED uh, display right here, but then it has just a regular spot for a uh, tail light bulb. Yeah, these are gonna look awesome on the truck. Reverse light going. So these new lights definitely look a whole lot better than stock tail lights. 80 bucks, can't go wrong, get rid of this. LED too, and it will match my cab lights, which they are smoked white LEDs also. Those look absolutely amazing. But the tail lights are looking good now. Now that we have the tail lights done, we need to actually mount this bed to the frame with these bolts. So let's go ahead and do that because I have not done it yet. So yes, I am taking the bumper off of the lifted second gen, but I have a good reason for it. I'm not just using this truck as a parts truck. The only stuff that I've taken off this truck so far is gonna be this back bumper and the front bumper. So I'm not taking anything really major off of this truck. Eventually, I'm gonna be doing a flatbed. I'm gonna build a flatbed for this truck. I'm not keeping this uh, makeshift flatbed out of a regular bed. I just did that for you know YouTube. Um, so I eventually am going to be building a flatbed for this. I won't need a rear bumper for it. So there's, there's no point in me having this on here when this one looks 10 times better than the other one that I have. So I'm just going to flip flop them. Let's go throw it on the other truck. So this is the bumper that came off of the red and blue cab truck, which is now this truck, obviously. Um, I'm not really worried about the chrome because that's going to polish out. I'm going to go ahead and polish this one. But as you can see, this thing is just beat up. I believe it's twisted on this side. If you look from the top, you can tell that that's, this part's twisted a little bit. And just overall, this bumper really isn't in the best condition. So that's why I'm swapping these two over. Oh yeah, from this view, you can definitely see that this bumper is twisted. Oh my gosh. Actually, before I go ahead and put this bumper on, I'm gonna pull these plastic pieces off. That way I can polish the whole bumper without getting polish on the black. Because if you guys know polishing, if you get it on black trim, it is super hard to get off. But these are looking not the best. I originally, on my other truck, before I got wrecked, I had the uh, trim and bumper paint on this thing. So I'll probably just go ahead and scuff this back up and then lay some more and bumper paint back on that because it actually made it look really good. I can't see anything. I'm hitting the wire. Yeah, I did. There we go. How's bumpers on? I'm going to pull this thing into the shade so I can get it washed and uh, Give it a polish because you don't want to polish on a hot surface and the sun's going to heat this up pretty quick. So to be clear, I wasn't polishing it as in like sanding it down and polishing it like that. I was literally just taking a polisher with some paint polish just to get the bumper shining again. And let me tell you what, dude. Oh my gosh, when I get this into the sun, it is gonna be shining. So there still is gonna be scratches in it, but it's not gonna, I was basically doing it to get the uh, the oxidation haze away, all the dirt and stuff on it away, but 
I'm pulling this thing right here into the sun. Let me tell you what, son, it looks good. So here's the final result. Woo, I'm gonna get blinded. Woo wee. Oh, I never even noticed that right there, that little dent. But man, she's shining. Oh my gosh. Look at this thing. It's a damn mirror. There's still scratches in it. Like I wasn't polishing it to get the scratches out. I was just polishing it to get it shiny. But dang, dude. Like right here where you step, there's tons of scratches, but I don't really care. But man, that thing looks good. I'm blind some people on the road. They try to use their high beams on me. This thing's gonna reflect back at them. Step back. So when I go ahead and get that trim and bumper paint, we'll paint those top panels and slap them on there should look really good like i said i was literally just using a da polisher nothing special microfiber pad and then not any special polish at all literally just one that i found over here uh ultimate compound mcguire's i have some heavy cut and some uh some other polish in there that i use on paint but i figured you know this is a relatively one step good polish and uh it worked out really damn good. So seeing that, you know, I polished a bumper, maybe one of these days I'll take five minutes per wheel and maybe polish these wheels up, just do a quick little one step because they are a bit scratched up. I'm not really looking to take any of the scratches out, which taking scratches out of powder coat is going to be a lot easier um, than, you know, metal. So this may polish up even better, but I just want to bring some of this you know, get some of this oxidation off of here and brighten them up a little bit. Um, these do need to get repowder coated because my ex-girlfriend that told my other truck curbed the hell out of these going through drive throughs and shit, Starbucks or whatever. But I think it would be pretty cool just to spend five minutes on each wheel and just give it a quick one step over and see how they turn out. If I need to do two step, it ain't no problem. I got heavy cut, but uh, yeah, maybe I'll do, do the wheels. Let me know in the comments below. But uh, she is looking good now. So I just got back from uh, O'Reilly's. I got some Scotch-Brite pads to try to get some of the old gunk off of here. Then I also got the trim and bumper paint. We'll go ahead, clean these up with the Scotch-Brite pad, wash them off, and then do a quick one or two coats, probably two coats, and then we'll come back later and uh, install them on the truck. So while I'm waiting for those bumper trim pieces to dry, they're gonna take about an hour. I'll probably give it a little bit longer than that so I don't scuff it up. But I need to get ready for the next video and that is taking this headliner out of this truck because it does have the opening right here. The headliner in the truck right now does not have the opening. And if you guys missed a few videos back, I showed you a part from LRB Speed and it has something to do with this section right here on the headliner. So I need to pull this headliner out of here. I need to pull the wiring out of here as well. And I don't have any adhesive, headliner adhesive or headliner material. But for now, we can go ahead and remove this headliner out of here, get the wiring. So I got all of my Milwaukee tools. I got a big Torx bit for the rear seat belts. I got a screwdriver for uh, that piece right there, that grab handle. And then I also have another smaller Torx bit for all the other pieces. So let's get this headliner out of here.
go. Oh my gosh, Sadie. Oh my gosh, really? This little rascal of a dog. Look at what she just did. Look at this. Footprints. She just walked straight across this thing. Oh man. What are you doing? So the reason why I'm taking all of this wiring is because what was already in this truck, it had, you know, the, the compass, the miles per gallon, and all that stuff on there it had the screen. And then this also has the uh, electric um, rear view mirror or whatever this does. I don't even know what this does. Maybe it darkens when, I don't, I don't know what this <laughs> wire goes to the mirror, but it had the compass, it had the, the miles per gallon, it had the temperature thing on there. And that other truck didn't come with any overhead console. So that's why I have to pull out this wiring. And I'm hoping, I'm hoping that when I plug it in, because everything on these trucks is pretty much plug and play, they just didn't put some features in with the other. I'm hoping that the wires that actually give all this power at the fuse panel are there. So when I plug it in, it should hopefully just plug and play and it work. So that is the reason why I need all of these wires. So there it is. That is the wiring that I need for, I guess it has wiring for uh, visor lights also. Um, visor lights, overhead console, rear view mirror, and then also, I don't think this truck has it, but I need to buy a temperature sensor so that the temperature reads right on the overhead console. And I think that is what plugs into here. So, um, yeah hope that I have this plug underneath the hood because it's pretty much wired into a main wiring harness. <laughs> so if it's not on there, I'm gonna be in some trouble with whatever plug this is. So these suckers had about an hour and a little bit to dry. They're safe enough to handle. Just push them back down on there. Looking good. And this one. They're a little bit sticky, but my fingerprints aren't getting pushed into it. So that's why I'm handling them right now. This one ain't there, I don't know why. There it goes. There it is. Man, those things look so good with the bumper polished and obviously the trim being uh, trim painted, hell yeah. So unfortunately that is all the time we have for today's video. We actually got a lot done. We got some new tail lights. We got the bumper off the lifted truck on this truck polished and the trim painted on it. We have the bed bolted down and we have the headliner out of the parts truck. We have the wiring out of the parts truck and this will get done in next video with the LRB speed overhead console. I'm super excited. The reason why I pulled the wiring out of it is because with the LRB speed overhead console, you can actually mount this screen right here that gives you your miles per gallon, your temperature, your, your compass and stuff like that. So that's why we needed the wiring out of here. I'll be taking the screen and these lights out of this console and putting them in the LRB speed console. So that's gonna be super exciting. I may not do the headliner in that video because it does look good. It just needs a little bit of cleaning. This one's obviously gone and it doesn't have the spot for the over, overhead console. This mirror actually has the wiring plug for it, so that's good, but we did a lot. I'm super excited how this truck is turning out. Let me know in the comments below what y'all think of the progress so far, and we will see you in the next one. Dippin' Diesel, out.